last question um it's kind of a just simple question is that prayer you know you've mentioned praying so much now and i just love that and i love to end on that note um so it just seems like prayers right now can seem so can seem so small um i just want to just want to get this yeah this question as it came in said individual prayers feel small when the pandemic is so big global deadly devastating how should we pray at this time I mean, you mentioned praying for our government for sure um yeah just any just really practical um houses you, uh, sorry you mentioned lament and prayers of laments we got those down just how else do you think we should be praying at this time yeah thank you i think you should pray big prayers and small prayers uh god is a god who has numbered the very hairs on our head uh, and he cares for every part of our life, of our families, of our livelihoods, of our futures, of our health. So pray prayers for all of those things. But uh, just as a small child can go to the emperor in the middle of the night to ask for a glass of water, if they're his child, and the emperor has such phenomenal power, not just to grant water, but all kinds of other things. So you and I come before God, hence faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains. So I think we should be praying that there'd be an end to the global pandemic. I think we should be praying that God might enable the healthcare workers to be safe as they uh, work on the front line. I think we should be praying for governments all over the world. And I think we should be praying that God stays his hand, as it were, or in his mercy, uh, removes the pandemic. I think we should be praying that God uses it in his mercy to draw many, many men and women to himself and that the Lord uses it to refine his church, to draw us to Christ, to build us in greater godliness and character. So I think we shouldn't be afraid to pray the big prayers because we are children of the heavenly king and he's given us a spirit by which he invites us to call God Abba, Father. Mm -hmm. And yet God cares about every single element of our lives and therefore there's nothing too small or too trivial to bring before him. And as we do, I think it, we should look for God to shape us through our prayers as we pray and reflect on what we're praying, especially maybe as we pray the Psalms or some of those amazing prayers, for example, in Paul's letters and shape our prayers around the way the spirit has guided us to in God's word, look to see the Lord transform our affections and our loves and our priorities, and even to bring us the wisdom we so desperately need to navigate through these things. So pray the big prayers for the pandemic to be removed and for there to be worldwide revival in people discovering joy in forgiveness in the Lord Jesus. And pray for those small things about your child going back to school, when the business starts up again, where your next paycheck is coming from, how you love and serve your neighbours when you yourself are stressed, and how those relationships, which are really tough at the moment, are restored, uh, even in this time of, of lockdown.